What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, I decided to do a video that was inspired by my good friend Jean Ward. Now, he does a lot of satellite photos and looks like what looks like just simple boulders, but unique shapes, things on top. Let me show you the channel we're talking about, and then we're going to jump right into this particular photo. This is neat. All right, this is Jean Ward's latest video. You can see recent photograph reveals more of the usual suspects spotted south of Pei, I guess that's what it is, on Mars. Now, just this item alone he shows. Now, the video is longer, and this is not the photo that I'm using. I'll show you that in a moment. But just this object alone, I just want you to see what he catches in this, okay? So, right here, he puts it in the middle of the screen. Now, if this thing looks like it's towering. It's got a shadow, but there's a bunch of other little pieces on it. Now, I've had him on a podcast. Great guy. Uh, and if you're not familiar with him, you're on my channel, you're not familiar with him, subscribe to him. Hit the subscribe and then hit the all button so you'll be notified. Definitely want to do that. We can go to his channel here and he's got plenty of videos to see, plenty of things to see. Really, really good stuff. And again, I can't emphasize enough. Just go ahead and subscribe to make sure you hit the uh, notification. If you're new to my channel, please do the same. Subscribe and then go ahead and hit the all button so you'll be notified of every uh, video that comes out. All right, so let me show you where you can get the picture, or at least part of the picture, that I got this from. Now, if you have high view, you can see it right here on the very bottom of the screen. Um, it says high view, and you can see it's a PSP006743. Let me just show it to you. you you're going to love this. All right, so here's the photo, or part of. When we back way out of this, you can see this thing has plenty of rocks in it. And it's quite a large photo, okay? So you got to get the high view in order to be able to view this particular photo. And you can see it up here. Now, I think he used a different one. I think he used a black and white. But you can see it right there. It's a PSP underscore 006743 underscore 1365 underscore red. I'll give you the link, and hopefully it'll work for you. Uh, if not, then I'll just go ahead and give you the uh, area where you can find it. This is where it is. You can see I got the 1PX right here. And I'm going to zoom right back into this, okay? All right, we're going to slide it over. We're going to zoom back in. All right, let me just show you this. This is cool. I'm going to try to put it right where I had it on my uh, photo in Photoshop, right around roughly here. Okay, so lower left corner, we get this weird-looking square type piece, what looks like a wall or something around it. You can see that right here. I'm going to go around it with the crosshair uh, cursor. Okay, we have this piece here, which looks like a broken part of a rock. But folks, when you go over to the other side, okay, now the more you zoom into these, it's not too bad. They're pretty decent. Like we can zoom into this. Now, last time we were on a podcast, him and I, when we did this, I said, listen, you have to start burning around these things. I think there's much more to this photo. Now, he just loves doing it in the raw form, which is great because he shows plenty of things that are clearly stand out. But I decided to get into this because this this one here alone, I'm going to go around it with the crosshairs. Look at that one alone. It has this weird bend, some kind of weird bended piece next to this large block. But is it a block? This one over here to the right of it. Folks, look at Just jump up here to the right. We can see a perfect square with what looks like a tiny square broken off the upper left corner. You see that right there? Okay. This shaped item right here. Come on. How does this look natural to anyone, right? Let me just slide over, and we're going to put this in the middle of the screen, and we're going to get right into that. Put it just like that. We're going to zoom in. Folks, what are you kidding me? But you notice how it starts to really break apart. So this is the reason why we want to take it into Photoshop. We want to zoom in, but we also want to blur it a little bit because, guess what? It'll just break apart, and it's not going to do you a darn bit of good trying to see it because all you're going to see is pixelation and whatever else is they're throwing into these but i believe they're doing the same thing that they did on the regular martian photos meaning you know they'll put like a digital airbrush if you if you want to call it that i'm sure it's much better than it was like on the moon photos when they want to take some out they literally airbrush back in the day this is all done digitally okay now let's just jump into this particular area i screenshot it put it in photoshop let's just have a look Okay, here it is right here. Now, you can see as soon as you start to go back in, what do you see? It literally falls apart. However, what if we could take some of it out and clear it up just a little bit? This right here, look. This one here in the lower left, we'll put it to the center, that split rock. 
Well, if we can bring it out just a little bit better, you can see that. Okay. Now notice this here, this walled area I said earlier. Right here. Lower left. Make that just a hair bit bigger. Okay. Now you got that piece there. Again, this split rock, if you want to call it a split rock. Notice how some of these boulders and weird shaped items have like what looks like a walled over area. You see that? Pretty wild, right? But look at the way these so-called rocks look. They look like that they're airbrushed. And we can zoom into that and see that. See it like it's kind of like almost like a feathered spray, a, you know, overlay type thing. See that? Pretty wild. Okay. Let's bounce over to the right hand side because this is cool. This is something similar to what he just showed in that other photo. You can see right here. You have something right here, and it's raised off, and it's throwing a shadow. And this piece is doing this, okay? And you can see that, okay? This piece right here, this is the one I think is brilliant. If you look at it really closely, you can see what looks like a small rounded piece, and is one, two, three pieces. And you can see what looks like an art-shaped piece right here. Plus, this is freehand, so I'm going to probably mess that up. But you get the idea. And again, it looks like, like, like a weird overlay double vision kind of thing going on here. If you look at it right here, you can see what looks like a weird digital overlay. Hmm. This piece here. Let's just jump out of that. Go to the right. This item. Look at the things on top of this particular rock right here. You can see that. Here. Kind of odd, right? Folks, there's so many things in here. Here's that square I was just showing you. And you can see what looks like a broken piece off of it right there. But are these really stones? But just this alone, folks. This alone. Another one. Clearly, that is not a rock. You can see what looks like it's doing this. And it has what looks like almost like this weird shape cover over it. You can see that, but it looks like it's digitally overlaid. Hmm. Okay. Let me show you the enhancement, and we're gonna just going to jump right into this because I've done several different ones. Now, again, we're going to zoom into this, take it over to the left, and what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and take some of the graininess out, and we're going to blur it up a little bit. Okay. So let's get into this right here. All right. Notice, folks, we have this item here. This right here, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit so you guys can see that a little bit better. Now, also keep in mind, the folks that do do their own Photoshop work, burn around these certain rocks, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Little things like this. What is that hiding in there? And I'm going to bring this in a little bit. Look at the shape of whatever that is right here. It looks like almost like a rectangular or a square piece or cutout of some sort. You have what looks like it's doing this. Okay, see that? This right here. Not even sure what to make of this. This piece right here, or piece is. Not sure what to even make of that. Let's jump out. There's so many things in here, folks. I just went after the bigger things just to see what we can pull out. This here. We have this formation of rocks, if you will, right here. What could possibly do that in nature? One, two, three. Notice how we have what looks like an accommodated area, if you will, that it looks like these things almost fit into, right? Looks like there's something here. And you can see all the little pieces like inside this area. See that? Just weird, weird things. Another square right here. What looks like, almost looks like it has a pipe coming straight out of the top of this thing and then going right into it. See that? But you can see it's right there. Looks like it's a little brighter right there. Like you can almost see this whole thing. This item in here. Not sure what to make of this. Folks, this is digitally airbrushed. Notice this whiter piece inside here. See that? Let's have a look. Put the blur back into it. See that? right here where they literally went like this and tried to cover this thing up but you can still see the shape of it underneath right there 
All right. Go down here a little further. This alone, this is neat. It looks like a giant structure. You can see that doing this almost looks like it's shaped like this here. See that with one, two, and they look like they're connected somehow. Notice how this first one right here actually has what looks like a square on it and then something pretty large that it's actually casting a shadow. Okay. But they look like they're all kind of joined together. Now I'll show you the original part of that area. And we're going to go ahead and put a little blur in it, but you can see that right there. See that? Just jumps out, right? Okay. Here's the square part. Notice how now this looks like a multi-level. When you jump into this, you can see something going like this. Looks like it's been broken apart a little bit right here doing this. Goes like this. Looks like there's a part broken off or it's just something that's on the side. Maybe it's just the way the building's built and we have like a storage building of some sort. I don't know. But it almost looks like it's got an accommodation with the landscape. You can see that too. You see that? Okay. Also notice the area that's around it. Looks like there's a cutaway in here. Maybe another structure or some sort in front of that. I'm not sure. But either way, that doesn't look natural here. This item we talked about earlier. Let's go back to the original with the blur, that is. We're just bringing it out, folks. That's all we're doing. We're just making the shapes pop out. This item to the right. Notice how we have something that looks like a round circle with a darker dot right here in the middle. See that? Okay. This bottom piece. Now, I showed you this before. This is what it looks like, right? Right there. You can see other small squares right there. Let's bring it out. Didn't even notice this part until I started to enhance it. This is what it looked like. You can still see it. The thing what they did was they went like this and kind of like black that area out. So to hide half, if not all, of this structure. Notice it right there. Okay. Let's drop down to the better stuff. This item right here, to me, does it for me. And the reason for that, and I told you folks earlier that you have this piece here, one, two, three, four, maybe, and some other details or raised areas of this structure. It looks like they stacked these photos, folks, when they did like an overlay, a digital overlay to cover these things. It's not quite centered on the original. And this is the reason why you get this weird kind of look to it, right? Again, we have that weird art shape piece right next to it. Again, the original. Folks, if you look carefully, you can see these things. See it? You can see that. This item to the right of it. Check this out. You can see things coming off of it, meaning looks like they're a little higher than the actual main body of whatever this structure is. And you can see what looks like they're casting a shadow to the right of them. Every one of them has some kind of shadow of some sort. Or, again, it's a misalignment of the overlay, the digital overlay, over the original. And that's a very good possibility that that's what's happening. But, folks, just these things alone. Come on. This on the bottom. This is clearly not natural. This right here. You can see that. What is going on there? What has something coming out of the ground? Like it's been buried. Okay. So I believe a lot of this stuff has been probably tossed and turned and thrown about and buried maybe because of the giant flood that Mars had. And this is what we're seeing. Some items are still clearly okay or just maybe rocked on their side like this item here in the middle of the screen. And then some things, like I said, on the bottom, this item on the bottom here, I just showed you, it looks like it's, you know, we don't know if it's half buried, three quarters buried. We don't know. We don't have a clue, right? But there you go. What are we seeing here? Me, 100%, no doubt in my mind, in my opinion, these are structures. And they're doing the same thing they do to the natural on the ground photos, like from the, 
any lander or rover. And what they're doing is they're just putting a digital overlay over these things. So you believe they're giant boulders. I think what we're seeing is structures everywhere has been washed and thrashed about. And this is what we're seeing. You can see that. And again, you can see the shadows right here on the right hand side. So clearly the sun is coming from uh, the left or the west. We'll call it the left of the photo because we don't know which orientation this is towards the sun. But you can see that. I'll back it out. Go ahead and pause it right here. Have yourself a good look. Get out your eyepiece, your magnifier, and have a close look at these items I showed. And guess what? Again, if you're putting this stuff into Photoshop yourself, you're going to see a lot more things that I'm pointing out. So again, I want to give uh, Jean Ward a big thank you for doing the work that he does. And uh, this is how we were able to jump right into this thing and find a lot more detail. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you the whole photo again, and then we're going to jump off this bad boy and uh, let you guys uh, check it out for yourselves. I'll put that right there. Pause it. And there you go. Folks, without a doubt, these are structures. Again, like I said, what they're doing is they're taking these photos. I don't care what it is, satellite, on the ground photos, like from the Curiosity, the Perseverance, uh, even the helicopter photos, uh, Ingenuity. Um, they're taking these things and they're putting a digital overlay. Now these, like I said, you've got a lot of uh, compression artifacts on this particular photo. However, I think it's a misalignment of an overlay on the original. And this is what we're seeing too. And again, I give uh, Jean Ward props for, you know, doing this kind of work because it inspired me to really jump into this even more so. Again, if you're not familiar with his channel, which I showed earlier, go ahead and subscribe to him and don't forget to hit the all on the uh, bell button there, right? Uh, and you'll get the uh, link to his page anyway uh, down in the uh, comment section. As always, folks, drop your comments down below. I want to know what you think and what you're seeing in this photo. Uh, if you're in inspecting it as well, like I do with the eyepieces and the magnifier, uh, just let me know. Drop it down below. Please like and share the video. It's always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And again, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that little uh, bell and it says all. Go ahead and click on that and get the latest notifications. I know some of you folks had said, listen, for some reason, I'm unsubscribed now. I'm not getting the notifications. Make sure that's clicked. Make sure you tick that. It says all on the bell and make sure you are subscribed, right? Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.